If I were the devil, if I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness, and I'd have a third of its real estate and four-fifths of its population, but I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree, the... So I'd set about, however necessary, to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve. Do as you please. To the young, I would whisper that the Bible is a myth. I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. I would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square. And then I'd get organized. I'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves until each in its turn was consumed. And I'd have mesmerizing media fanning the flame. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to refine young intellects, but neglect to discipline emotions, just let those run wild. Until before you knew it, you'd have to have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door. Within a decade, I'd have prisons overflowing, I'd have judges promoting pornography. We're talking about 8-year-olds and 9-year-olds and 11-year-olds and 12-year-olds. He's got over 600 images, gobs of video footage of these children but you say this does not signal a heinous or egregious child pornography offense. And then you went on to say the defendant was merely trying to satisfy his curiosity. That's somehow a reason to only give him three months. Help me understand this. Soon I could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls and church money. If I were the devil, I'd take from those who have and give to those who want it until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious. I would caution against extremes. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. I would convince the young that marriage is old-fashioned, that swinging is more fun, that what you see on TV is the way to be. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. Paul Harvey. Good day.